Hi everyone and welcome to my next uh, Jiu Jitsu video uh, and on today's Jiu Jitsu video we're going to be looking at the back attack. So obviously with it being in lockdown and uh, things like that I'm going to be using a uh, grappling dummy. Uh, so we're going to be purely be looking at uh, back attacks and my personal favourite ones and uh, they're nice and simple uh, and they're very effective. So I'm going to start in my back control. So I've got my hooks in, my partners and my feet are active, toes are flaring out. And I've got my seatbelt grip. So I've got one hand over the shoulder, one shoulder, other hand comes underneath the armpit, and I'm gripping nice and tight here. Okay. And then another detail, small detail I want to make sure I'm doing is I have my shoulder on there. Oh, sorry, my chin on their shoulder. So I've got control there. So the first choke we're going to look at is the short choke. Okay. So generally what happens if I'm on their back, anybody that knows what they're doing is going to have their, their chin tucked and they're probably going to have their arms defending as well. So my hand that is on top, I'm going to make my knuckles, uh, so I'm going to bend my fingers, so I'm going to make my knuckles here, and I'm going to basically run my fingers against the jawline. So I run my fingers against that jawline until my forearm's underneath the neck and I grab hold of the shoulder here to secure that grip. Now my hand that's underneath the armpit, I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to push this shoulder forward. So as I push this forward, I get my arm in a little bit deeper. And then what I want to try and do is try and get my, my uh, elbow right in front of their chin. So the more I can do that, the more secure the choke is going to be. So I should this side. So I'm grabbing hold of that shoulder. So we'll look at the short choke first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go palm to palm. So I'm going to do my cable grip here. So my hand that's on the neck goes palm down. My other hand goes palm up. And then with this elbow, I want to try and get my elbow right in the center uh, of their back. Okay. Now, this is a nice detail I got from Professor Rick Young uh, in, in uh, Scotland. He's from Scotland. He's a fantastic BJJ instructor. So I'd highly recommend checking him out. Is I want the feelings if I'm clamping this elbow down in towards the chest. Like I'm trying to put my elbow through their chest. And as I do that, I'm obviously going to pull my elbow back and I'm squeezing everything in. I'm pushing my head against their head and I'm kicking away with my legs a little bit. And then that is my short choke there. So that little detail about pressing the elbow down into the chest makes the choke a lot more effective. So again, I've got my, my grip here. Shoulder is on, uh, sorry, my chin is on the shoulder. My hand that's on top comes out, make my grip, slide it across underneath the neck and I grab hold of the shoulder. My hand that's underneath the armpit, I pull it out, push the shoulder forward and I try and get the elbow in front of the chin as much as I can. I then grip my own hand, so I go palm to palm. Remember the hand that's on the neck goes palm down, the other one goes palm up. I try and get this elbow right in the center of my opponent's back. Keep my head nice and tight. I clamp my, my uh, elbow right down towards their chest and I pull my elbow back and I'm pushing my head in and I'm kicking my legs away slightly and then that is my short choke, okay? So a choke that's very similar from there is the rear naked choke. So it's going to be the same, same kind of thing. I get my knuckles, find the jawline, get my, my forearm underneath the jaw. So I grab hold of the shoulder. Pull this hand out, push the shoulder forward, try and get that nice and deep. Now instead of holding my own hand, I'm going to hold my bicep. So I put, put my hand on my bicep and I place the back of the hand behind the dummy's head. Okay. So some people do it like this or, or uh, palm on the back of the head. I personally prefer the back, back of the hand, I feel like it's much more secure. And again, I put my head there. So from here, I, I do exactly the same thing as I did for my short choke. I want that feeling so if I'm clamping this elbow down in towards the chest. So I clamp the elbow down, pull, and I squeeze, and then that is my uh, rear naked choke. And it, they, they both link really nicely together as well. So if for whatever reason I'm not finishing this rear naked, or if they grab this top arm, I can pull my hand back and I can go into my short choke from there. So they link well together. So I'll show you that by, that by um, rear naked choke again. So I've got my, my control point, my hand is on top, knuckles underneath the jaw, grab hold of the shoulder. Pull my hand out from underneath the armpit, push it forward, get the hand in nice and deep. Hold my bicep, 
I'm just bringing my hand out here on purpose, just so you can see. In reality, I wouldn't do that. I'd, I'd, I'd just sneak it behind the head. I'm just doing that just so you can see. So I'll put my hand on my bicep, place the hand, back of my hand behind the head, clamp this elbow down, squeeze, and I've got it there. If they manage to control this arm, I can just pull it back, my cable grip again, elbow in the center of their back, and I squeeze, and I've got my short choke there. So that's the rear naked choke and the short choke.